Hello everybody and welcome to our Tech Tuesday tutorial number 24. Today we go into a deep dive of Google Keep. Okay, so last time we looked at Google Keep, we looked at the basics of Google Keep. What is it? How do you get to it? How do you create a note? What's the anatomy of a note, the different aspects of it, and the icons at the bottom and so on. Today we take a look at more features in Google Keep, some more advanced things that you may not know about. So let's get started. One of the big things about Google Keep is that you can do labels, just like you can in Gmail. These are kind of like hashtags. In fact, you can actually do some pretty nifty things with these things. So let's say I have a drawing or something like that, or actually, you know, let's go here. And I'd like to put this into a certain label. One thing I can do is I can come down here into the more and choose add a label. So I put it in here and I can label it as vacation ideas. I can apply more labels if I want to as well. What's even kind of neat about this is that I can, with the labels, I can come in here and just do them with a hashtag. So I can do hashtag, let's say bucket list and that will create a bucket list uh, label. What's neat about doing it this way is that this becomes hyperlinked and allows me to go to the label directly that way as well. And it becomes part of the document. So I come in here, it's hashtag bucket list. I click on that. I can go to the label or even remove the label entirely. If I wanna edit labels more directly, I can just choose the edit button over on the left-hand side and hit the pencil icon or the trash can to delete it or change it. Okay, so let's say that I would like to get a better look at some of the things I have here and search, right? And as you know, Keep is made by Google, so if it's Google-based, it probably has a good search. I simply come up here to the search box and I start typing, but before I do, notice that it automatically shows filters here based on people, books, movies, places, and things like that, as well as things uh, such as types. All my posts that have images, it does not count drawings, by the way, or um, anything that's a drawing or things that are specifically lists, or I can search by labels that I've recently added. Now, if you go over here to things, this is kind of neat. I can go to book and it will actually detect book titles in some of your posts. These filters are kind of nice and they're built in automatically when you just go to the search um, before you even type a thing, you can search. So it even does places and it even does travel, which it didn't seem to pick up any word of travel at all, but it seems to kind of know that since these are places, these may be places I want to go. Maybe it's the word to go, I don't know. This warrants a bit more research. Another really nifty thing is getting text from an image. So let's say I start off with a a note and I come in here and I choose add an image and let's choose this one it's a funny meme you know you're desperate for an answer when you go to the second page of Google uh, which is so true so when I'm here I can take a note and write whatever I want to with it that's fine but I can also now that it's here open it up for editing and in this pull down menu I can choose grab image text so what Google does is it then analyzes the image for any kind of words and then grabs them and puts them into the note. Sometimes it gets the kerning a little bit off. Uh, kerning is the spacing between letters. But what's great is that now I can search for this. So if I go and search for something like answer, then it'll find it there. A particularly good use for this is scanning people's business cards because you can scan it and then have it put it into text and you've got it searchable. And then of course you can then hashtag it, color code it, label it, it's done. Another really nice thing about Google Keep is it has a Chrome extension. We've already looked at the app. You can go to the web store, do a search for Google Keep and install the app and the app will basically launch it in its own separate window. What's great about that is that you don't have to then be in Google Chrome to be using Google Keep and it can be a separate window. You don't have to be on that tab, things like that. It's really nice. I highly recommend it. But that's not the same as an extension. An app basically is a shortcut to the product itself in its own window often. An extension builds more capacity to your web browser. So if I go to the web store and I do a search for Google Keep and I look for the extension, then I have the option here to install it and it puts an icon in my browser. So I'm gonna go here and say add extension and I'm gonna adjust my browser so you can see it. Look at the top right here and you'll see that it's been added up here. Now I can't use it on this page, but if I go to another page, let's say this one, and I want to capture part of this page. Maybe I'm writing an article or I want a site uh, where I got some of this information from. I can come in here and say, okay, I'm gonna grab this 
this thing about white noise, which is a kind of cool tool, and I right click on it um, and I choose save selection to keep. Right, so it saves it over here. I can put a title on it. I can say white noise is uh, the app, but I can also then label it. So I can come in here to label and I can create a new one uh, or just leave it there, or I can wait to label them a little later. Then I keep going on about my way. If there are multiple things on a page that I would like to capture, then that's not a problem either. I can come over here and capture more items, you know, no problem. And I can capture more than one link in, in that as well. So I save selection to keep. I can go back to Google Keep and scroll down uh, for the items that I've added. Once I get in here, if I need to, I can simply hashtag it or add another uh, label. So I might put this here as Tech Tuesday for ideas for another Tech Tuesday. Now, you'll notice that this is one note and I've done multiple pinnings. And basically what it does is since it all comes from the same website, it just adds that to the same note. Now this is particularly good if I'm looking at research because every time I find something that I need, I simply save it to keep, it saves the, the link there, I can come back, I can tag it, and then it makes making that bibliography a lot easier. It makes citing that information a lot easier. Even if it's a small project in the classroom for the students, it kind of teaches them that when you get something from the web, you credit where you got the information and it makes it so much easier to do that. It doesn't just work with text. You could right click on, let's say an image and say, save image to keep, and it will work in the same way. It puts the image in there, it credits it and links it and it allows you to apply labels as well. Uh, pretty neat stuff, pretty easy to use. This extension is wonderful if you're gonna be using Google Keep on a regular basis. Right, let's take a look at settings. You can pull the menu up, the three lines, and scroll on down to settings. And when you get to settings, there are a few things here you should know. How lists behave, whether or not new items go to the bottom of the list, whether or not checked items move to the bottom, whatever, or they stay in order. When you get reminders three times a day, whether or not you can share anything. And this is a nice one, display rich link previews. Rich link previews are kind of nice because what it does then is it gives you these little icons, these little thumbnails, anytime it detects a link in your note. So you kind of know where it's coming from in, instead of just the URL there. Right, so it doesn't stop here. Let's keep going and let's take a look at Google Docs integration and how this might work in Google Docs. So let's say that I wanna take some of this information and create a Google Doc out of it. Pretty easy to do. You go to the more, you say copy to Google Docs. So it's gonna copy it now and give you the option to open the doc. So there's my Google Doc with the information that I got from Google Keep. But let's say that I'd like to take an existing Google Doc and add information from Google Keep to it. I open up my Google Doc and I go to Tools and choose Keep Notepad. This is built into Google Docs now. And when I go in there, it shows my Google Keep, all my notes. I can actually add to them right here. I can go into these and edit them, or I can come into this and take any of this information from it and, uh, and select it and, and drag it over here. So I could come in and say, I want all this information from this one, or maybe just a little bit of this data. I could take a sentence or two, copy it and paste it. Or if I want the entire thing, I can come into this and say, oh yeah, let's drag this whole thing here. Or better yet, let's take uh, a list, right? And make some room for it here and grab that whole thing and bring it in here. And it comes in as a bulleted list. So your Google Docs integration is seamless. It works with Keep. You can be in Keep, you can be in Docs and go back and forth. And this also works on mobile. So mobile's the next thing we're gonna take a look at. So I'm gonna move on over to mobile and show you a little bit of that and show you kind of what you can do on that that's different than on Chrome. Okay, so on your mobile device, you've got the app, but on Android, you've got a couple of widgets that will work pretty well in your system. So let's take a look at those. You go over to your widgets drawer and just kind of scroll along and look for keep. There are two, one that shows a little bit more controls with content and the other one that's a basic one. So let's play with this one first. This is the one with content. Basically, it's gonna ask you what kind of content you wanna display, whether it's all your notes, just the ones you've got pinned, reminders, or certain labels, like Tech Tuesday. You'll see that it displays a little bit there. I can long press it and move it around, reposition it, and then even resize it so I can see more information. Let's move that over there. Right, there you go. You can have it take up an entire side if you'd like. The other one is the simple one. And it basically just gives you these commands where you can create new items. 
You can also record audio notes, and if you do, it's going to have to get permission to access your microphone. Now, I can't do that while I'm also recording this, so I'm going to have to turn off the video recorder um, on the tablet and record a voice note and then come back. So we'll see you in just a second. Right, so I was able to exit the screen recorder and do an audio note in Google Keep using the little button, and what you're seeing there was transcribed. So basically, let's put a title here. Basically, it is speech to text um, and it automatically writes down what you said. It does not store the actual audio file itself. All right, so let's say I wanted to do a drawing and we're gonna go in here and do a quick little drawing using the tools that are available. You'll notice that it has different size brushes, different size colors. It has a pen option as well as a pencil icon uh, and even a highlighter and eraser. So I'm just gonna do a quick little sketch out here to show you what's possible. Right, so pretty cool there. Nice little drawing features. You can sketch anything you want and do a basically like a little whiteboard and then even collaborate with others on this just like you can on other, on other notes. I do want to note that you can go and send on your mobile device, which will send it to any number of these familiar places like Drive or Gmail or Google Plus or Hangouts. All right, I hope this was useful for everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did like this, remember to hit that like button. Remember to hit that subscribe button and please share this with other people. We need to get more folks uh, subscribed and viewing this. So please, again, share on Facebook, tweet, whatever else you can. Thank you very much, guys. I will see you guys next week.